exciting announcement. I'm super excited. Um, I'm using my ring light, my new setup, and my new phone. So let me know if you like it. I'm trying to tweak it around, see how I feel about these things. Um, I know the circles in the eyes may be a little bit distracting. If anyone knows how I can kind of combat that, let me know. Um, if I did my glasses off, I won't be able to see, so I can't do that. Um, but I'm here with an exciting announcement. But first, I wanted to show my cute little fable band I'm wearing today. It is the Pride and Prejudice one. Super cute. Hey guys, it's Rebecca Ashley here, and I'm here with an exciting announcement. I'm super excited. Um, I'm using my ring light, my new setup, and my new phone, so let me know if you like it. I'm trying to tweak it around, see how I feel about these things. Um, I know the circles in the eyes may be a little bit distracting. If anyone knows how I can kind of combat that, let me know. Um, if I take my glasses off, I won't be able to see, so I can't do that. Um, but I'm here with an exciting announcement. But first, I wanted to show my cute little fable band I'm wearing today. It is the Pride and Prejudice one. Super cute. And if you see videos going forward with like a little red thing on my lip, I had like a pimple there and I popped it, so it looks not the greatest. But happy 2021, everybody. Um, I know I have some backlog videos that I have been uploading um, yesterday and today, but these are brand new videos. So this is the first video of 2021. I'm super excited to film it. And it is a birthday readathon announcement. Um, if you guys have followed my channel, you know that my birthday is in January 30th and I'm going to be 32, 33. Yeah, 33. I can't, can't believe it. Um, and The Handmaid's Tale was one of my favorite, favorite books and favorite TV series. So what better to host a small readathon, just a week long readathon, the week of my birthday, and it's going to be called the, uh, Praise Be Readathon. Um, I'm super excited. And I'm going to show you, there's like three challenges, well four challenges technically, that's it. Um, I will probably be doing a live show on Instagram um, leading up to my actual birthday. they would be something fun to do. But yeah, the three challenges is just read the Handmaid's Tale book. It's not too long. Um, I have the, uh, what is it, the, movie, the TV show tie-in. I wanted to start collecting all the Handmaid's Tales because I just, I love all the editions. I have a pin. I have, to, I have a bookmark. I have to get some more stuff though. I definitely want to get a shirt for Christmas, uh, for my birthday. But you have to read the first book, The Handmaid's Tale. You, you don't have to do these in order. I'm just giving you the things. Uh, two is The Handmaid's Tale graphic novel. Um, this is what I got from my bestie, Lori, for Christmas, and it's a fast read, and you can definitely read this, and then read this, or read them at the same time, it's up to you. Oh, and for anyone who's saying I'm having, uh, volume issues, I know I've got complaints about my volume not being the best, um, I did order a mic, it will be here Monday. So, I don't know if it was because I was filming on the iPad, now I'm filming on my phone, maybe it's better, I don't know. Um... And then the next thing is read the testament. This, or the, the testament, sorry. This is the like sequel or technically kind of prequel. Uh, I think it's a sequel. Um, they don't really talk much about June in this one though. It follows a, a, a lady from The Handmaid's Tale and a lady that is more privileged in The Handmaid's Tale. And it follows Aunt, Liv Aunt Lydia, who was one of like the meanest characters. And I got this for my birthday. I think it was my, my birthday last year for my bestie, Lori. Love it. I love the cover. It's so pretty. It's such a different change. I mean, again, this is the TV one, but the other one looks kind of just like this, but it's, it's red. And then the fourth thing is just, if you never watched it, try watching season one of The Handmaid's Tale. Um, if you have watched it, then rewatch the series. Um, you don't have to watch every single episode, just like just a couple episodes. And then we'll talk about it. I hope you guys really like this readathon. I'm super excited to be hosting it. Um, I'll be doing reading sprints on Instagram and stuff because I literally love this show and this book so much. Again, it's my favorite book of all times. Um, I just, I find the world so fascinating and scary at the same time. Um, because if you don't know The Handmaid's Tale, in this world, men basically have all the power. Women have like no power but basically to repopulate the earth. And it's kind of not even repopulate the earth because they are kind of like, not sex slaves, but basically they get all the women in the world that can like reproduce and stuff and have had babies before, 
get sent to this camp. I think it's called the Red Camp. Um, and basically they've learned to be a handmaid's tale. Oh, they're, sorry, a handmaid. And basically they're the ones that bear the children from the commanders. Because in this society, the women cannot have sex with the men. Um, so they have the handmaid, which they have a, they have a ceremony and everything. It's very weird. Um, but basically the woman is there holding the hands of the handmaid while she is getting impregnated by her, the, the, the commander, which is the husband of, uh, the wife. And it's very weird. Um, I think I fa I'm fascinated by it so much just because I don't think I would be a handmaid in this particular world because I have problems with fertility and stuff. So there's like the mafas who are like the older women that like take care of like cook and clean and stuff. And then there's a few people that get sent to the camps, um, which is like they have to pick up hazardous waste and they don't last long there. And it's a really, really, really good series. Um, I hope they make more books. I don't know. But the show is amazing. The show kind of goes a little bit off the book, but then it kind of just like derails straight like not even even close to the books at sometimes um season one is basically the whole thing is book one and then after that they just there's no more book obviously so they just kind of like did their own thing but it's so good i love it so much it's my favorite book like i said um and yeah i will probably upload this today well what's this saturday i already have a video coming up so i'll probably upload this on monday as like a surprise video for you guys um, because my schedule is Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Um, so you'll get a bit video from me on Sunday, which is review at Sunday, where I review a book. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had a phone call. Um, I thought I hit do not disturb. I guess I didn't. Uh, but, but basically, um, yeah, I'll review something on review at Sunday, whether it be clothing, a book, um, a TV show, a movie, game. Just give me a review about something. Um, so you'll definitely get a video of that tomorrow. And then Wednesday is just whatever kind of video I feel like uploading. And then Friday is the weekly weight loss vlog. Um, I hope you guys stay tuned. I have so much new content coming to this channel. And definitely check out Fable Bands on the January 7th to pre-order their bands. I will show you all the designs um, when it gets closer to the 7th because they're so cute. And I'm definitely buying some for my birthday. And make sure to use code babe 10 to save i hope you guys participate in this read -a let me know if you do because i cannot wait and i will talk to you guys later and like i always say make a little hook rock and we can each other bye guys and happy 2021